In this video, I'm gonna show you everything I ate in a week, and it's gonna be high protein. So my goal is to eat 100 grams of protein a day. Do you think I can do it? Well, let's find out. So it has been a while since I've done a what I ate in a week video on this channel. So if you guys like these videos, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, check out my what I ate in a week videos playlist, which I do have one. So I'll link that below as well. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be attempting to eat 100 grams of protein a day. So this is going to be a high protein what I ate in a week, fully plant-based as always on this channel. Hopefully I can do it. What do you guys think? Is it possible? Yeah. It is possible. Before we jump into the what I ate in a week, we gotta talk about supplementation. It is important, my friends, okay? Because no matter how healthy our diet is, sometimes we need a little bit of a boost. And this is where Complement comes in. If you guys don't know, Complement Essential is my favorite multivitamin. This is the multivitamin made for and by plant-based eaters. It's not just for plant-based eaters, but if you do eat a predominantly plant-based diet, heavily plant-based diet, or a fully plant-based diet, Complement Essential is here for you. So what I love about this is that it really focuses on the key nutrients that you may be lacking just from diet alone. Not lacking, but you may need a little bit of a boost from just from diet alone. So even if you eat a super healthy diet, sometimes it's hard to fill in all of those nutrient gaps. And this is where Complement Essential comes in. So this is science backed, it's third party tested, and it is full of eight key nutrients and nothing more, nothing less. So you don't need to go and buy all of these separately. It's super easy and simple. This makes my life so easy. I just take this and that's it. I don't have to think about anything else. So definitely check out Complement Essential. And if you guys don't know, Complement is a fully plant-based company, which is another reason why I love them so much because I love supporting plant-based companies. So yes, this is something that I try to take every single day as long as I remember. I do keep it on my counter so I do remember, but sometimes I still forget. But either way, I try to take this every day as part of my healthy diet and I usually have it with either breakfast or lunch. But anyways, this is something I take. So keep that in mind. I may not show it throughout the week, but I have been taking my Complement Essential. So if you are looking for the multivitamin that you can rely on, definitely check out Complement Essential. The link is below. And of course, guys, I gotta give you a discount of 15% off. Yes, you can get 15% off using my code CheapLazyVegan and consider subscribing so that you get this delivered to you on a regular basis and you can also save more money. So that's also an option for you. But again, 15% off your order, Cheap Lazy Vegan. And just a quick side note to mention some of their other awesome products. We've got their gut nurture. I'm so excited. I ran out of this and I finally got another uh, package. So this is a prebiotic and postbiotic and it really helps with your gut. And again, this I ran out of as well. So I'm excited to have it back. The daily greens. I take this every day with some water. And again, if you are having a hard time getting in your greens, getting in your veggies, this might be something that you might want to consider taking. And last but not least, you'll see this throughout the video, but the chocolate protein that I love so much. This has helped me through this week. So all of those products are awesome and available on the Compliment website. And once again, use my code CheapLazyVegan to get that 15% off. And thank you so much to Compliment for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get started with what I ate in a week. It's Monday breakfast. I'm gonna have overnight oats that I made the other day. So I'm just gonna put this in a bowl. Normally I just eat it straight out of the jar. I just wanna show you what it looks like and how much food it is, because it's quite a bit. So these are chocolate protein overnight oats. I also added some vegan Greek yogurt in there and some strawberries. Mm, and this thing has like 33 grams of protein. So, really good. Good start to the day. Right now I'm watching my friend's dog. This is Henny. Say hi, Henny. He also wants his breakfast, so let me get him some breakfast. Henny, sit. As always, I made my coffee. I drink my coffee black. Cause you know what they say guys, once you go black. Cheers. <laughs> Here's Henny just chilling beside me. He's so cute. But I think he's warming up to me. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you. You don't want any coffee. You want a sniff? <laughs> For lunch, I'm gonna have a vegan tuna pasta salad. This stuff is so good. Super high in protein, it's really delicious. And it tastes like a tuna pasta salad, minus the tuna. Mm, it's so good. Mm. The recipe is linked below. 
Mm. So I forgot to film it, but I did also eat half of a rainbow wrap as a snack because I was pretty hungry. So I had that, that was a snack. I had a little fruit as well. Now I'm gonna make dinner because I'm hungry again. I am starving, okay? little exercise in me and I am ravenous. I'm gonna eat pasta again because I can never have enough pasta and I have some leftover ingredients. I'm gonna make my vegan seafood pasta, which I should have a recipe for already. So I'll link that below, but it's really simple, really easy, but I'm also gonna add some zucchini in there, some zucchini noodles with regular pasta noodles because that bulks up the dish and add some vegetables and just increases the volume, lowers the calorie density. It's great, zucchini. And plus this has been in my fridge for some time, so I need to use it. I also have some tofu that I'm gonna add for protein. Too lazy to get a cutting board. I should get a cutting board. So basically I just use a julienne peeler to make zoodles. And then I use that in conjunction with spaghetti so that I have extra noodles, but in the form of zoodles. But I don't want just zoodles, cause that's boring. So whatever's extra, I'm just gonna leave it for later. And there you go, we got a bunch of zoodles. For my vegan scallops, I like to use king oyster mushrooms. And if you want, you can make little slits. Again, the recipe will be linked below. Also gonna use some hearts of palm as my vegan scallops as well. I'm gonna cut it up. It has kind of like a fishy taste. So I really like it. There we go. And I got more mushrooms. Adding a little garlic salt to the tofu. Food pasta. It's so good. Mm. It's super simple, but it's so good. Mm. Good morning. It's day two. I'm starting with the overnight oats for breakfast again, because I basically meal prepped this the other day. And so you're probably gonna see me eat this for the next four days. <laughs> now I'm just gonna eat it out of the jar as I normally do, but here it is. So for lunch, I'm having the filet no fish burger from my cafe. This one has a vegan tofu fish patty that we make in house. We also have a vegan tartar sauce, uh, lettuce, and there's also avocado in here. And I added tomato and it's really yummy. All right, I'm gonna make a protein shake as a snack a bit of water and some chocolate protein powder from Complement. I do a whole scoop. This is gonna help me make some gain. <laughs> Although it would help if I did some weight training. <laughs> I just like protein shakes because it's efficient. It's the job done. It helps me feel full. Oh, and I also got these dates just now. I had one medjool date <laughs> earlier and now I'm having a protein shake. And I think I might have some strawberries. Okay, I'm gonna have some strawberries. Got about like a cup of strawberries. And I have this coconut chocolate fudge sauce. I have like a very tiny bit left and I'm just gonna like scrape it off. Mm-hmm. Like that. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going for a run so I need a snack. I just have half an English muffin and I made this like white bean sort of salad, white bean mix. It's basically just mashed white bean with like vegan mayo and uh, red onion and like stuff like that. I'm just gonna add that on top and uh, maybe some hot sauce and that's a snack. Mm. Really good. 
I'm gonna eat this, go for a run, and then it's dinner time. Oh, another snack I'm gonna eat are some leftover plantain chips. This is actually from Costa Rica. I have like some plantain chips left over. There's literally just crummies in here. So I'm just gonna finish that. Mm. All right, I got home after my run. Say hi to Henny. <laughs> and I am so hungry. So I'm just going to heat up some leftover vegan Indonesian food. Mm-hmm. I went for dinner like a few days ago at this place. This is like a vegan restaurant here in my city and I have some leftovers so I'm gonna heat this up and I'm also right now cooking up some uh, more tofu and I also have some like leftover mushrooms because I feel like I need more protein. So that's gonna be my dinner. Here's my plate. I didn't plate the whole thing so I may end up getting a little bit more but let's see. I have my mushrooms, my tofu, so it might be enough. We'll see. And of course, you gotta get sriracha on like everything. <laughs> Yum, there you go. There's my dinner. Who knows if I'll eat more. Kalanamak on the tofu to make it taste eggy. This is black salt and it has a sulfuric taste, so it's gonna taste eggy. Here's the other half. Here's my breakfast sandwich. I used a Gardein breakfast sausage, some BioLife vegan cheddar, and pan fried tofu and ketchup. And then I have an orange. That's my breakfast. Mmm. I need a snack, so I'm gonna have protein shake. Once again, the chocolate protein. over Indonesian vegan takeout. So I'm just gonna heat this up and I'm just gonna eat it as a snack because I'm hungry and I feel like I need to eat this. Yeah, that's my snack. So I totally forgot to film my dinner, <laughs> but I had the vegan tuna pasta salad. I have a little bit left over, so this is the aftermath. Okay, I'm gonna eat the last little bit in a bit. And I also had a couple of these soy cookies that I got from Costa Rica. There's like four of these in here and it's actually really good. And I had that with peanut butter, which was so good. So there you go. <laughs> That's my dinner. Good morning. Oh, my throat. Ooh. Let me drink some water. Good morning. There you go. That's better. <laughs> it's day three. No, day four, I think. It's Thursday. And I have leftover coffee from yesterday. <laughs> Do you guys ever just like not finish your coffee and then just drink it the next day? Yeah, I do that. I'm gonna heat this up. And then for breakfast, I'm gonna have half of a serving of the overnight oats that I made and something else. Save the rest for later. I'll probably have this as a dessert later sometime. And I'm gonna have half an English muffin with the white bean mash that I made the other day. Sometimes I want like a sweet and savory moment, so. I like to have a little mixture sometimes, you know? And on top, just gonna add a little bit of sriracha or a lot of sriracha. There you go, there's my savory breakfast and my sweet breakfast. And there's there's Henny, <laughs> who, who just had breakfast. So good. Time for a protein shake. I have a workout class in like an hour and I need some protein. So I'm taking the chocolate protein. Just FYI, you don't need protein powder, okay? This is just a good to have. It's not a necessary thing, but it's a convenient way of having protein and helps you feel full. You know, it's nice. So yeah, FYI, you don't need protein powder, but it's a nice to have. You can also have real protein, not real protein. You can have protein from food sources, not just protein powder, obviously. But yeah, 
And obviously I like to add protein powder to different things to like make it more filling, stuff like that. I could add it to smoothies, overnight oats, all that stuff. But sometimes you just need to just get her in, you know? For lunch, I was back at my cafe and I had our bibimbap, which is Korean mixed rice. I also added some avocado in there as well. And it looks a little messy because I just kind of threw it together. So don't judge, okay? Anyways, ours is actually a fresh veggie bibimbap and we serve it with marinated lentils for protein. And of course, I got to add our creamy gochujang sauce and mix it really well together. That's basically where the name comes from, bibimbap mixed rice. And of course, I take a gigantic bite. It is so good. All right, it's dinner time. I have a meal prepped meal. Oh, if I can open this. This is a tofu Buddha bowl that I meal prepped. It has tofu, we've got lentils, rice, veggies, and I have a peanut sauce to put on top. I do have a recipe for this, I'll link it below. I'll also link the meal prep video below. So yeah, this is really good. I'm gonna heat this up and that's gonna be my dinner. I've got my peanut dressing, my PB2 dressing, which I'm gonna pour. Again, this recipe is on my blog. This is so good. And then I'm also gonna have it with a little bit of kimchi. There you go. Ooh, that is my dinner. Yum, lots of protein in here. For my final snack, I'm gonna eat the rest of the overnight oats from breakfast. It's gonna be a nice little dessert. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I'm making my breakfast sandwich again, Lee, because I gotta head out. Got my tofu, this time I got three pieces. I'm gonna add my kala namak to make it taste like egg, my garden breakfast sausage, of course, ketchup. There we go, there it is, yummy. And then I have a little bit of, like a tiny bit of hummus left over, so I'm just gonna scrape it with the carrots here. There's a breakfast, woo. And I'm also gonna make a protein shake. I don't know if I'll have it with the breakfast or I'll have it a little bit later. I might take it with me and just like, drink it um, in like an hour or so. I normally like to spread out my protein intake. So like if I have a breakfast, which is pretty good in protein, then maybe I'll have like a protein shake like in like a couple of hours, not like with the breakfast, because I heard that your body can process like maybe, I don't know, a certain amount of protein at a time, like 20 to 30 grams. So if you eat like a ton of protein in one sitting, it's not really gonna be like, effective as much as it would be if you just spread it out. Anyway, that's what I heard. So what I try to do is, yeah, like I'll have like a meal and then like maybe a protein shake later on. So I think that's probably what I'll do today. But I don't know, we'll see. Depends if I'm like still kind of hungry after this, so yeah. Right, I'm about to go for a run, but I need a little snack. What am I gonna eat? <laughs> okay, I actually have this like baked sweet potato that my mom gave me. This is like a Korean sweet potato, which is elite. I'm gonna eat a little bit, just for some energy. Then I'm gonna go for a run, and I'll eat more. Came back from my run, and I took a shower, and I'm gonna eat the rest of the sweet potato as a snack before I eat dinner. Dinner time, I'm making a wrap. I've got a bunch of sliced veggies that I need to use up. I also have some vegan deli slices, which I also need to use up. I feel like they're going bad. So here we go. We got spinach tortilla. I'm just gonna do all of this. This is vegan bologna, pretty high in protein. I like it. We got a mixture of veggies here. We got like bell peppers, there's cucumbers, all kinds of goodness. I'm just gonna fit as much as I can. So I'm just gonna put sweet chili sauce. You know what, I'm also gonna add some, what do you call this? Hot pickled pepper rings. Add a little bit of that. There you go. There's my wrap. Uh, okay, it's harder to wrap when there's no leaves. <laughs> okay, fun, yay. Okay, now I'm gonna toast it as always. Sriracha. I don't know why I don't just put the sriracha in the wrap. <laughs> Sometimes I just I just do things weird. Simple, delicious. And for dessert, I'm gonna have my overnight oats again. I'm just gonna do half. Good morning, it's day six, I wanna say. Breakfast is very random once again. It's a random mixture of things. I'm gonna eat the rest of the overnight oats. I also have that white bean mash on the English muffin. I'm gonna put sriracha as always. 
And I also have a little piece of leftover banana bread from my cafe. This is vegan banana bread. I just have a little leftover piece. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be my breakfast. So random, but it's gonna be so good. dinner I made gochujang sesame noodles this recipe is on my blog and this is really good I put a little bit less gochujang this time but um, it's still really good I added some veggies I added some edamame beans and I have some king oyster mushroom that I pan fried mm, looks so good oh and I used higher protein noodles this is from a brand called X diet I worked with them a while ago and the noodles I think it's like almost 20 grams of protein per serving I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some green onion. Yummy! There's my dinner! High protein, delicious, spicy, perfect. So I have a bit of a sweet tooth right now and I saw this recipe on TikTok that I really wanna try. It's basically microwavable baked oats that are high in protein. So we're gonna try it. So first I made some oat flour just by blending up some rolled oats. Next thing you need is protein powder. I'm using the compliment chocolate protein powder as always. I'm just gonna measure it out because I want it to be specific. Okay. Ah, too much. No. I want it to be precise. I think I was supposed to use half. Oh no. Should be good. Okay. There you go. Protein powder. Now we need baking powder. I'll link the recipe below, but it's 35 grams of oat flour, 15 grams of protein powder, and then we're gonna do three grams of baking powder. It's gonna give us a mix. And then apparently you slowly add in the water. It's 140 milliliters of water. And I guess I just mix while I'm adding this in. Microwave for one minute and 20 seconds. Okay, ooh, I think it's still kind of raw. Okay, I'm gonna do another 30 seconds. Okay, I really don't get this. <laughs> this is not working. Like, do you guys see the texture? That's not normal. And I microwaved it for another like minute. Did I do something wrong? I can't eat this. Fail. Now my sweet tooth is unsatisfied. <laughs> what do I do? I'm too lazy to make anything extravagant. All right, I've decided. I'm gonna make that peanutty, yogurty dessert. I have a recipe for this on my blog. I'll link it below, but I'm gonna take vegan yogurt. Unfortunately, I don't have the Greek yogurt, but I have vegan yogurt. Maybe I should add protein powder to this. I'm kind of lazy. So this is just vegan oat yogurt. Again, they were out of the Greek yogurt. And I'm gonna try using PB2, which is powdered peanut butter. Normally I use regular peanut butter, but we're gonna try the powder today to see how it tastes. We're gonna do like a tablespoonish. Maybe I need a little bit of sweetener. I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup. Mix this. I'm gonna try this first. Mmm. Oh my God. This alone is so good. Oh, and honestly, it tastes almost just as good as using regular peanut butter. So with this, I'm gonna take a little bit of coconut oil here. This probably is about like, I don't know, a teaspoon, maybe not even. And I'm gonna do like 
some chocolate chips. Again, this recipe is on my blog. And then we just microwave this just to melt the chocolate chip. I've melted it and now, I mean, this is just looking like a mess, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna eat it right away. Mm. Oh my God. I'm just gonna drizzle it on top. And then honestly, preferably you wanna have it covering the entire thing, but I don't have enough. So I'm just gonna put it in the freezer and just gonna like let the chocolate harden a little bit. Mm, it's so good, you guys. I'm doing that now. And of course, obligatory. You gotta lick <laughs> all that chocolate. Mm. All right, here it is. Mm. It's so good. You gotta try this. Using the PB2 makes it higher in protein, less in calories. It's so good. Mm. Good morning. It's the final day. I have these veggies I need to eat up. I still have my leftover white bean mash. Not too much, but I'm gonna make salad rolls. Rice paper. I'm gonna wet it with warm water and just dump. <laughs> I think we also have cucumber somewhere. Hmm. Let's add the mash. This is not gonna be the prettiest salad roll. <laughs> I'm just doing sweet chili sauce. And I had some leftover king oyster mushrooms from yesterday that I just air fried quickly to heat up. So I'll eat that on the side. I know it's super random, but you know, this is how I eat. This is the reality. Random breakfast. Let's try this. Protein shake time. For lunch, I was back at the cafe again and I had the spicy chicken udon noodles, which I am obsessed with at the moment. And for the last supper, I was at my parents' house and my brother actually made dinner and uh, I had some creamy mushroom pasta and a Brussels sprout salad. Everything was super yummy and I actually added some smoked tofu to my pasta to bump up the protein some more. When in doubt, guys, just throw in some tofu and smoked tofu is super convenient and you can basically just eat it pretty much out of the packaging. It's so good. Anyway, after dinner, I had an orange for dessert and my dad actually juiced some oranges too. So lots of orange action here. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it for what I ate in a week, 100 grams of protein a day challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more what I ate in a week, let me know down below. And especially if you want some kind of a themed what I ate in a week, I can try that as well. I really enjoy doing this high protein challenge because I'm always trying to eat slightly higher protein and um, doing this video helped me uh, stay on track. So thank you guys. Thank you guys, okay? Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet, why have you not subscribed? click the subscribe button. And of course, once again, check out Compliment. The link is down below for Compliment Essential. Okay, if you are looking for a multivitamin, this is it. And also there are other products are linked below as well. And you can use my code CheapLazyVegan to get 15% off of your purchase. So thank you so much to Compliment once again for sponsoring today's video. And of course, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna link my What I Ate in a Week playlist down below so you can check out my previous What I Ate in a Week videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much, you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!